Hello everyone, I'm Saulna. Today we are going to have an in-depth coverage of Hada, Ida, and Da clarifying with many use cases. So far, we have used these ones with some examples, but today we are going to add many details with good amount of examples. These Hada, Ida, or Da can be used as a wild card in many cases, so it is important to master the uses of these. You will be very fluent in Korean if you master these. The tail character Da can be used as an ending character as you have seen. But in this case, it is also used as a status being for the be verb or adjective form. Over here, 덥다, 덥다 means it is hot. 춥다 means it is cold. So you don't use it for drink temperature, for example. It is used for weather. 덥다 and 춥다. The next one is also an adjective case. 뜨겁다 and 차갑다. Unlike 덥다 and 춥다 used for weather, 뜨겁다 and 차갑다 are used for the temperature of things such as drinking water or tea or coffee or food. So 뜨겁다 means it is hot. 차갑다 means it is cold. 뜨겁다, 차갑다. As you may realize by now, Hangul has many different ways of representing different level of status or thing. The previous ones, 뜨겁다 and 차갑다 were uh, hot and cold. 따뜻하다 and 시원하다 are warm and cool. So 따뜻하다 means it is warm. 시원하다 means it is cool. So these can be used for temperature as well as weather. So you can say that for temperature of beer or cola. But also when you want to say that weather is cool, then you can say 시원하다. Oh, 시원하다. So as a summary, when the tail words 하다 is used with an adjective, it actually represents status of something. The next one is 이다. 한글 이다 is mostly likely to be used as an English B verb. So it is morning is 아침이다, 아침이다. It is evening, 저녁이다, 저녁이다. Note that it part of English sentence is omitted in Hangul, so you don't really say anything else except 아침이다 or 저녁이다. People will understand fully without specifically saying it part or now part. So in Hangul, if something is truly implied, then you don't really need to say that. For example, when somebody says 아침이다, that means it is morning. Another example of using 이다. It is daytime. 낮이다, 낮이다. It is night. 밤이다, 밤이다. Not means daytime as a noun. 밤 means night as a noun as well. So, 낮이다, 밤이다. Let's take a look at 하다 case. Unlike 아침, 저녁, 밤, 낮, which was noun, 단단 or 물렁 itself is not a noun. 단단하다 or 물렁하다 itself is a root word for an adjective. 단단하다, it is hard. 물렁하다, it is soft. So this single word, 단단하다 or 물렁하다, can represent it is hard or it is soft. So this is the case that Hangul can represent something in a very compact way. Let's take a look at how we can use 다, 하다 or 이다 in full sentences. When we need to say something a little bit more complex and cannot be implied naturally, then we need to use n, 은는, 이가, adjective 다, 하다, or 이다 form. I strongly recommend to review season 1, episode 9 for 은는, 이가, since this is very important topic. So n part over here is a subjective noun, and 
adjective part is a describing part. As you may recall, we have to use either 은 or 는 based on the 받침 existence of this n part. If the n part ends with a 받침, then we use 은. If it does not have a 받침, then we use 는. Okay, let's try a simplest form for a full sentence. n 은, a 다, or n 은, v 다. a is adjective, v is verb here. So, I am going can be said in Korean as 나는 간다. 나는 간다. So it ends with a 다. Brother is eating can be said in Korean as 형은 먹는다. 형은 먹는다. We have seen this sample before when we studied NV template. So this is the case that ending character 다 is used for verb. Okay, let's build up some vocabularies, preparing other full sentences. Four seasons becomes 네 계절 in Hangul. Remember, 하나, 둘, 셋, 넷, and 한, 두, 세, 네? Because four is used as a describing adjective for the 계절, which is season, we use 네 계절 instead of 넷 계절. Spring is 봄. Summer is 여름. Autumn or fall is 가을. Winter is 겨울. 봄, 여름, 가을, 겨울. Korea has four distinctive seasons. 봄, 여름, 가을, and 겨울. Here we see an A template again that we learned in season 1. So how do you say summer is hot? 여름은 덥다. 여름은 덥다. How do you say winter is cold? 겨울은 춥다. 겨울은 춥다. This is typical NA template you already know. Unlike root words for verb, the root words for adjectives can be used in a sentence without modification, just like this one. 덥다, 춥다. Okay, let's try a little bit longer sentence using complete subject. A complete subject is a group of words that includes all the words that tell whom or what. So in this case, 한국의 여름, it's Korea's summer. Do you remember 의 being used as apostrophe s? So 한국의 여름 means Korea's summer or summer in Korea. So how do you say summer in Korea is hot? 한국의 여름은 덥다. How do you say winter in Korea is cold? 한국의 겨울은 춥다. If you are living in a country like India or Malaysia, it's hot all the time. So you can say that 인도의 겨울은 덥다. Winter in India is hot. What about spring and fall in Korea? Spring in Korea is warm. 한국의 봄은 따뜻하다. Note that we used 하다 here because 따뜻하다 is an adjective saying it is warm. 한국의 가을은 시원하다. 시원하다 is cool. So autumn in Korea is cool. 한국의 가을은 시원하다. 한국의 봄은 따뜻하다. 한국의 가을은 시원하다. 따뜻하다 or 시원하다 is an adjective. So you don't use 따뜻 or 시원. As a noun, you don't use that, so you need to use 따뜻하다 or 시원하다. In a more casual fashion, you need to use 따뜻해, 시원해, which means it is warm, it is cool. So when you drink a cold cola, then you say 아 시원하다, 아 시원하다. You can say that because 따뜻하다 or 시원하다 can be used to describe weather or temperature or something. Okay, another case for using 하다 as an adjective in NA template. When you want to say ice is hard, then 얼음은 단단하다. 단단하다 means it is hard. 얼음 is ice, so 얼음은 단단하다. 얼음은 단단하다. How do you say noodle is soft? Noodle is 국수. Is soft is 물렁하다. So 국수는 물렁하다. 국수는 물렁하다. Since Korean grammar structure is so different from English, it is really hard to say whether is is 
은, 오, 는, 오, 하다. So 단단하다 is describing something hard. 물렁하다 means something is soft, but it doesn't really do one-to-one -one match with English B verb. So you can think that I is part can really map to 얼음은, but 단단하다 can also map to hard or is hard. Noodle is can map to 국수는, but also 물렁하다 can map to is soft or simply soft. So that's an interesting way of understanding Korean and the language is not a science or math, it is a culture. So it is important to try to remember the pattern instead of seeing it from an algebra point of view. Okay, the last example with ida. Ida is almost like it is. So here, meaning this place, yogi. Spanish equivalent is aki. Yogi. Yogi means yogi means here. Yogi nun means here is. Hanguk ida, Korea. Is Korea or Korea. Again, Hanguk ida can be thought as is Korea as well. Yogi nun Hanguk ida, here is Korea. Over there is Kogi. Kogi. So when you want to say over there is, you should say Kogi nun. Kogi nun. Miguk ida is USA. 미국이다. 거기는 미국이다. Over there or that place is USA. Okay, that's it for today. Hope you get better understanding of uses of hada, ida, or da. They are basic building blocks of Korean sentences. And don't forget to subscribe and tell your friends. Adios.